Hello, welcome to watch the creative proteomics videos about protein identification. Today, we are going to learn some basic knowledge about membrane protein identification by shotgun proteomics. Membrane proteins are a class of proteins that interact with or are part of biological membranes. They can be classified into three parts based on their location and interactions with membranes, integral membrane proteins, peripheral membrane proteins attached via non-covalent bonds, and lipid-anchored membrane proteins attached through covalent bonds. The integral membrane proteins span across the lipid bilayer and are amphipathic. Their hydrophilic regions protrude into the cytoplasm or the extracellular environment for interaction with soluble proteins and molecules, whereas the hydrophobic regions work for the embedding of the proteins into the lipid bilayer. Peripheral membrane proteins are attached to one side of the membrane in several ways, like an implane helix. And the lipid-anchored membrane proteins are attached to one side of the membrane through covalent bonds to lipid groups. Membrane proteins play important roles in various cellular processes, such as cell adhesion, immune response, metabolism and signal transduction. They can act as transporters, receptors, and structures proteins. Therefore, membrane proteins are popular targets for proteomics research and the common candidates for drug development. It is reported that about 60% of approved drugs target membrane proteins. However, low abundance, limited solubility, restricted enzyme accessibility are main issues in limiting the amount of information obtained in the study of membrane proteins. Shotgun proteomics methods have relieved some difficulty in the identification of membrane proteins. The main processes for membrane protein identification will be introduced, including enrichment of membrane protein, membrane protein separation, protease digestion, mass spectrometry and computational analysis. Because the integral membrane proteins are low abundant nature, enrichment of membrane protein is essential for proteomic analysis. There are couples of strategies, including subcellular fractionation which is achieved by increasing speeds using a glycerol or sorbital gradient. The next strategy is delipidation in which solubilization of the membrane in the presence of detergent is performed followed by delipidation using a chloroform or methanol solution to extract and solubilize membrane proteins from the lipid bilayers. Affinity purification by using bioinhalation and removal of non-membrane proteins by using high salt and high pH are reported. The membrane protein separation is often divided into gel-based separation and solution-based separation. An earlier gel-based separation is SDS page prior to mass spectrometry, which is now known as mass spectrometry-based proteomic analysis. In this approach, the gel is cut into slices and digested with trypsin. And the peptides were extracted from gel slices and analyzed by tandem mass spectrometry. There are some other gel-based separation methods, such as blue native electrophoresis, clear native electrophoresis, and high-resolution clear native electrophoresis. Speaking to solution-based separation, multidimensional protein identification technology is a 2D chromatographic approach to separating proteins, in which proteins are digested into peptides and then the peptides are separated by using strong cation exchange and reverse phase chromatography. It is reported that another approach to separating peptides or proteins is immobilized pH gradient isoelectric focusing. For effective digestion, the backbone of the proteins must be accessible for the proteolytic enzymes. However, access to certain parts of membrane proteins is often blocked by sugars or lipids. Trypsin digestion is a typical way to digestion. While some membrane proteins tend to lack trypsin cleavage sites, and it leads to large peptide fragments which keep up their hydrophobic nature and are not detected by the mass spectrometer. Protonase K which is a non-specific protease can be used in membrane proteins. 
But peptides generated by non-specific proteases are difficult to predict because of the random location of positive charges. Elastase and pepsin have been well characterized for the analysis of membrane proteins. Tandem mass spectrometry analysis equipped with a MALDI or SE ion source is often used for membrane protein identification. Peptides are analyzed by mass spectrometry and obtain mass spectra. Subsequently, the bioinformatics tools and software are used for identification. Our membrane protein service offering purification from cytoplasm, periplasm, or cell culture supernatants. Buffer and detergent screening for solubilization and purification. Affinity purification. And further purification steps for crystallization ready, homogeneous protein fractions. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable services for membrane protein identification by Shotgun Proteomics. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.